Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video about the midpoint formula and talk to you about the two different types of midpoint problems you might encounter when you're taking high school geometry. So the midpoint is exactly what it sounds like. It's the middle point on a line segment. We call these other two points end points and the middle one is the midpoint. Oftentimes what we'll do in geometry is we'll use a marking system to show that the like, left side and the right side are equal to each other. So we usually use like one dash here and one dash here. And that is really just to indicate that you have a midpoint in the middle, that these two segments from the end to the middle and from this end to the middle are equidistant. The formula for the midpoint is to simply take the coordinates on either end and we'll call this one x1, y1, and we'll call this one x2, y2. It really doesn't matter which one you label x1, y1, or x2, y2, as long as you're using the x's from both of the points and you're averaging them. So you're going to add them together and divide by 2. And then you're going to do the same thing for the y's. You're going to add the two y's together and then divide by 2. And that will give you the point exactly in the middle. So the other type of problem that you'll find in geometry that you need to be careful of is when they give you the midpoint and one of the endpoints, and they ask you to find the other endpoint. So I call those given midpoint problems. So if you are given the midpoint, What you're going to do is I personally, I just graph it and I can figure it out that way using graphing. Um, you can pretty much graph your end point and your midpoint and use kind of like a slope formula to count how much up and over it is to get to the midpoint. And then just count that same distance up and over to get to the other end point. But a lot of times students like formulas. So I have a formula for you that you can use that will always work when you are given the midpoint. And what that is, is taking the midpoint X multiplying it by two and then, sorry, um, subtracting X one. And that will work the same way for the y coordinate. You're going to take the y midpoint, multiply it by 2, and then subtract y1. And if you think about that, you're going the exact reverse order that you were doing this here. So in this one, we added the two x's and then divided by 2. So the opposite of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2. The opposite of adding is subtracting. So we're just working in reverse. So you can use this formula to come up with x2 and y2, which are the endpoints. Um, another way, like I was explaining before, I would graph it, and a lot of times you'll have, you know, the part of the line, one of the endpoints, let's say that that's x1, y1, and then right here, this is going to be the midpoint. What I like to do on a graph is I simply count kind of like up and over, and then I go that same distance up and over to get where my new endpoint should be. And I can kind of draw it in here, and then you would figure out what x2 y2 is. So you can use both of these whenever you're working in geometry on midpoint, and I hope that's helpful. 